Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for Cancer, August 6th to the 12th, 2019, Sun Moon Rising. Okay, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed. You guys are amazing. You're all beautiful souls. And those of you that are watching, please like, share, and subscribe. And I send blessings to all of you. You're all beautiful, wonderful, amazing people. And I'm glad that I can do these readings and we can come together at this time and just help one another. That's what it's supposed to be all about, right? Okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to grab my deck. Okay, so again, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, August 6th to the 12th. Okay. Guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, August 6th to the 12th, 2019. Please continue to protect us and guide us always. Okay, please let, let us know what messages you have for Cancer. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so we have an Earth sign with the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, so since this is a general reading, it's not gender specific, so this could be male or female. So an air sign, uh, excuse me, Earth sign person, like I said, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and you, Cancer, are a water sign okay this could also be a person that's um, stable has money okay just to give you an idea if it's not an earth sign you're dealing with they may have those characteristics okay then we have here the magician this could be an Aries this is um, somebody that's ready to uh, manifest what they want make things happen Okay, could be if, uh, depending on the reading, somebody did magic or somebody's sleight of hand, but it's a time for action. Okay. Okay, then we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, I'll show you that better. And the Nine of Swords is despair, somebody with anxiety, inner suffering. Okay, then we have the Eight of Cups. Sorry if that was too close. The Eight of Cups is somebody feeling abandoned, uh, someone turning away, moving on, letting go, but it was a choice to leave. Okay, then we have the Empress. Okay. The Empress could be a pregnant woman. It could be uh, someone that's very nurturing, creative. could also represent growth and then we have the eight of wands great haste great hopes the arrows of love swift action which goes here with the magician so someone's definitely taking some fast action and making things happen they're manifesting here okay let's see the eight of wands could also be a trip so let's see okay so you're dealing with an earth sign The Nine of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Okay, we have somebody get a lot of anxiety about somebody leaving. Or it could be a lot of anxiety and worry either that they're leaving or that you feel you have to leave. Okay, and it could be you feeling it's, uh, or this, either you or this person is feeling 
it's time to take action to walk away. So either you're walking away from this earth sign or this earth sign is walking away from you. They feel it's time to make things happen because there's um, just a lot of anxiety and inner suffering. Things aren't working out. Okay. And with the Empress here, there's growth and abundance. It could be someone is pregnant. Someone's nurturing. And there's love. So I, I don't feel that Whoever it is that's leaving wants to leave. They feel that they need to leave due to whatever it is that's going on. Or it could also be, so for some of you, you feel you need to leave. You may, you may be pregnant and still love this person. Take it whatever, whatever way it resonates with you. Um, you or them are in this situation. Um, and you have the arrows of love and swift action taking a trip you may just feel I need to just walk away for a little bit to clear my head and see okay what's going on you know because I, I want to make things happen with this person I want to manifest uh, a happy relationship but with whatever is going on right now that's causing anxiety and inner suffering you feel the need to just walk away and it's either your choice or their choice to walk away i don't see a breakup but you may feel or they may feel that some space is needed okay now cancer you're reading last time was someone lied and broke the trust and you want to know if you can reconcile so for some of you this may be a continuation of that where you know you if that's the case for some of you, it could also be that you guys walked away or they walked away because there was just too much anxiety with the situation, if lack of trust and, and everything that happened. So you felt the need to just, okay, I got to make things happen. I got to leave, you know, it's time for action. So you may have gone away for a little bit. Uh, just to clear your head, but there's still love there, okay? Now, some of you, if you were with this person, you may have, you know, gotten pregnant. And so now you have another issue to figure out. You know, if I stay with this person and if I try and make things happen, try to work things out, because now, you know, I'm pregnant, how's this going to work? Okay. But you are dealing with an earth sign. Okay. Okay, let's see what else we have here. What messages do we have from the crystal cards for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, August 6th to the 12th? Okay. What messages do we have? Okay, Boji Stones, we have Balance. Okay, which makes sense. That's why someone walked away, perhaps went on a, a trip to try and figure out what's the balance here to make this happen. How do we make this work? Okay. And then we have Clear Quartz Purification. Yeah, you need to purify yourself, the situation, the relationship, the whole thing just needs a cleansing. Okay. Let's see, what else? No, I don't like how that started. Okay. Any other messages for cancer? So I'm memorizing all the 6th to the 12th. Okay. So that's it for this deck. Let's see, how about the Archangel Animals? Do we have? 
have for Cancer. Sun and Rising, August 6th through the 12th. Gray Squirrel, find new ways of solving problems. Archangel Raphael, look up Archangel Raphael. He's helping you throughout this time. Okay, find new ways of solving problems. Yeah, you just needed to step away for a little bit. You or them. Like I said, perhaps you went on a trip, you know, just to get away, some place to clear your thoughts. Because you do want to make things happen, but you got to figure out how do we solve this problem with my earth sign, okay? Or a stable person with money. Okay, and then we have whale. Live as a fully conscious being. Archangels Mary and Jolet. You can look them up too. Here, yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so you know the spelling. Live as a fully conscious being. Yeah, well now you're aware of what's going on so if this is a is a continuation of last week's reading where you know you know about the lies and you know the trust being broken and all that well now that you're fully conscious of of what's the truth now you can find a new way to solve the problem see how these go hand in hand okay let's see if we have any other messages for you from the yep, archangel animals okay Oh, the little pig. Maintain self-worth and self-esteem. Archangels Mary, Gabriel, and Uriel. Okay, look up all of these angels because they're giving you messages at this time. Okay, so maintain self-worth and self-esteem. So don't lose yourself in this. Be a lady or a gentleman. Keep it together. Okay. And we have cow. Give with unconditional love and grace. Archangels Raphael and Mary. So we have Mary three times with whale, pig, and cow. So Mary is really standing out here. So make sure you look her up. And then Raphael, we have twice. Okay, so those are your two main angels here helping you out. Okay, give with unconditional love and grace. Grace goes with self-worth and self-esteem. Okay, keep your head held high. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we have from, I'm actually going to put this one down here. Let me put all four of these here. Okay, that's better. Okay, what do we have from the Alice in Wonderland Oracle deck for Cancer, August 6th to the 12th, 2019? Okay, there's actually another scenario here for this, but I'll cover it at the end. Okay, so let's see. Cancer, August 6th to the 12th, 2019. So I'm rising. What messages do we have? Belong to your own dream. Create your own life. Yeah, you are in control of your life. If you want to make this work, if you want to try and trust this person again, 
you have the right to do so. Go with your gut, go with your intuition. Look up our, your archangels, see what messages they're giving you. Okay, but I see here it's all about purification and balance. That That's what you need to focus on right now. And you, you need to keep it together, okay? Find new ways of solving problems, maintain self-worth and self-esteem, live as a fully conscious being, always be aware of what's going on, and give with unconditional love and grace. Because what you, what you put out, you get back times three. So always handle things as positively as you can, and that's what you will get back. Okay, so that's all we have from this deck. Okay, I'm going to try the Moonology. Let's see. What messages do we have from the Moonology deck? For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, August 6th to the 12th, 2019. All the messages we have for you this time cancer okay so another scenario here you like I said you're dealing with an earth sign okay Virgo Capricorn Taurus now it could be you walked away or they walked away due to anxiety and fear like I said this could be a continuation from the previous cancer reading from last week. So check that out if you haven't seen it already. Okay, that was about um, lies causing um, trust issues and can you reconcile. Okay, so if this is an extended of that, for those of you, then you had the anxiety, you couldn't deal with the suffering anymore, so you left, you walked away. Okay, so there you have this earth sign that you were dealing with is now wanting to come back in and make things happen with you, okay? They want to manifest a relationship with you. They're seeing you as their empress, okay? This beautiful, nurturing, creative person, okay, that gives them a happy relationship. And so they're going to swiftly come back to you because there's still love there. And perhaps you might go on a trip with this person to, you know, reconcile. Let's let's get away for a while. Let's just go and clear the air, purify the relationship, get back to balance, you know. So you guys will create your own life. You're going to figure out what that balance is. You're going to purify it, and you're going to create that balance. Live as a fully conscious being. You're going to have unconditional love with one another and grace. You're going to find the ways to solve this problem and you're going to maintain your self-worth and self-esteem because if you didn't know what it was before, you know what it is now. You're empowered. Okay, so that's it for you, Cancer. Peace and love. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.